This episode will bring the epilogue on season 3. Two games remaining, but still a lot to be decided. I'm not gonna say anything else. Let's move on. Let's roll the intro. Hey guys, it's JRD and welcome back to my channel, but most importantly, welcome back to another episode of Rex to Riches, a football manager story. We are here in Birmingham, England with our mighty Aston Villa and we're down to the last two games of the season, guys. Home to Wolves and then home to Liverpool are the two games that we're going to play today. And um, there's still a lot to be decided because, first of all, <clears throat> There's no way we can win the league because Man City played already and they won their game. Um, so now they are seven points ahead. Even if we win our game, we would go up to 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 83. So there's still four points. And with one last game to be played, there's no way we can win the title. But, but, Man City, we are on 80 points and Man City are on 79 points. But Man, Man United, sorry, not Man City. Man United have a game in hand. So if they win their three games, even if we do win our two games left, they will go second and will finish up third. So although we can't win the title this season, we still have to do our 100% and more to at least consolidate and finish runners-up. Because finishing runners-up, it would mean a lot for the club, for the finances, for the future Champions League. So, uh, yeah, we need to win both matches, which is not going to be easy because Wolves, who are currently... Where are Wolves? Eight. I'm sure they're going to give us a good game. And then Liverpool, who are still in the run for the Champions League, basically. No, they're not in the run for the Champions League. What am I saying? Um, but still. Playing against Liverpool, it's never easy. Anyway, <laughs> so without further ado, guys, let's go. Let's do this. Um, let's go for the tactical meeting for the first game against Wolves. As I said before, and uh, yeah, the game decided to stop here. <laughs> okay, apologies for the weird cut, guys, but as you saw, the game um, froze for a while. Um, let's do this. Let's see. I think we should have Tanalia back, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's have a look. No, he's still out. So we have Williamson, who got sent off in the last match. Um, suspended, obviously. So we're going with Duran and Goal, Clements, Hermogenes, Crezu, and Vibora in defense. Daido, Antonio, and... Uh, oh, Antonio's back. Good. And Aldo in the middle of the pitch, Silva behind Clementino and Otavio. So without further ado, guys, let's go. Let's do this. Let's try and win this game and hope that Man United drop some points. Because as I said before, second place does not only depend on us, but most importantly, it depends on Man United. If they win their three games, second place is guaranteed for them. So <laughs> would still be... An improvement over last year because last year we finished fourth um, so even if we end up finishing third place it's still an improvement and I think we had a good campaign in Champions League as well um, it's curious I'm curious to see if in the next edition of the Champions League we'll still be in the fourth um, tier I don't think so because um, ending up third worst case scenario we can end up third well even fourth i guess because chelsea are on 69 points as well anyway it's getting too confusing and the game is refusing to play so there might be another there might be another cut here oh no okay anyway let's say um all the best have fun let's not put more pressure on the lads they uh, are coming out of a very intense season 
where they performed amazingly well. And off we go. Yeah, still Chelsea and still can still like overtake us. So come on. Come on. Ten minutes, nothing is happening. Fifteen minutes and nothing is happening. Not even a single shot. Look at that. Okay, let's demand more. Come on. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. One last effort. Last time we played home, we lost. Um, we lost against, I can't remember who. Aldo, come on. This guy can run, man. Silva, shoot, man, shoot. Why would you complicate things, man? I mean, Silva had all the time in the world to shoot there. Come on. Not much happening in this game. One shot on target apiece. We're bossing possession with 58%. But there's no highlights. <laughs> okay, there is one now. Which appears to be for Wolves. Let's see if we can get back possession. Oh, this is... Oh my god, what a save from Durin there. What a save from Durin. Nascimento with the corner, we clear it. Nascimento still in possession here. Another cross. The head there straight into Duren's hands, luckily. And we're uh, heading towards the end of the first half here. One last highlight, probably. Silva with the cross. Aldo! Yes! Clementino scores! Clementino with his 27th goal of the season. What an exceptional season he had, Clementino. Um, it's going to be a struggle keeping him at the club in summer. With half of Europe wanting him. <laughs> Big teams from Europe. Liverpool, PSG. Even Hertha Berlin wants him. Uh, Clements. What's wrong with Clements? He's done already, Clements? Or he has taken a knock? Um... Let's go undelighted. Let's keep like their spirits high. Clements as um, has put Ostergaard in. Clementino, the scorer of the first, well, the only goal up to now. What a lovely maneuver. Come on, Clementino. He can run, he can dribble, he passes to Silva. Silva! What a counter attack, guys. What a counter attack. But Clementino did it all, guys. Did it all himself. Look at that. Clementino wins the ball in our half. Runs like a madman. Gives it to Silva, who all alone, in the middle of the box, beats the keeper. And it's 2-0 now. Yes, Clements out, Ostergaard in. Antonio's not having a good game, but he's he's back from an injury, so... We have to give him a good a, a bit of time. Come on. Daido with the corner. Luis Otavio first on the loose ball after they headed it out. Luis Otavio runs on the left, on the right. He crosses it in. And Daido shoots, but it got deflected into a corner. Daido is taking the corner, as usual. He crosses it in, the keeper makes it his, Fuentes. 57 minutes on the clock here. But it looks as if we are in control of the game. Which is... Which is good. 
Um, let's praise them. Come on. Let's pause a bit. Let's uh, sub off Antonio. So we put Arieta in. And uh, yeah, let's keep it that way for now. Good game from Krezu, our young central defender. I think he's Belgian. And number three, speaking of the devil, <laughs> Krezu. Is his this is this this his first goal for us? I think it's not. I think he scored already. But what a header there from Krezu. What a corner, what a cross from Dido. Come on. 3 0. After a slow start, we've managed to dominate this game. Do it. Dido out, Marcelo in for the last few minutes. Seven shots on target for us against their four. Possession is almost 50 50. One last highlight. And it looks as if it's for Wolves. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, probably it is. <laughs> A long pass there, intercepted by Ostegard. Marcelo receives the ball from Ostegard. He has acres of space. He enters the box. He shoots and it goes wide. We are so deadly when it comes to counter attacks, guys, because we have our players can run. <laughs> They're fast. So, yeah. We've cruised past Wolves, guys. I must admit that we've cruised past Wolves, which is good. Still, this doesn't solve our problem because Man United hasn't played yet. So they're still to play and they have two games in hand on us now. They are on 35 games, we're on 37. But um, let's move on to the last game of the season against Liverpool home. See you there on the pitch. Okay, guys, so this is the situation. Basically, Man United, we had a 13-day break. Man United played all the three games. And basically, they are second. We have three points. They're between us and Man United, there is three points now. And there is an eight goal gap between us in the goal difference. So basically, even if we win today against Liverpool, we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish third. We're gonna finish third. So unless we win against Liverpool like 10 0 or something. Um so yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's win against Liverpool. At least we'll finish it off um, in a good way. I mean, I mean, it has been a crazy season. It has been an excellent season for everyone here at Aston Villa. We did great in the Champions League. We did great in the league. Um, we've got some injuries. Bogart is injured. Sutton is injured. Marcelo is injured. Um, Gellert is injured. So we're quite restrictive. Tanalia is back, though. Um, so this is the formation we're going with today for the last time the season. Duren, Clements, Leozau, Williamson and Vibora. Uh, actually, actually, yeah, let's keep. Because if we play Dido today, we're going to have to pay 20 million. So rather, I'd rather pay it now. The budget's already out, basically. And uh, the, the, the board of directors gave us 70, basically they gave us 80 million to spend. And they've increased the page budget to 2.9 a week, 2.9 million a week. Um, <clears throat> which is good, I guess. I mean, there isn't a lot to do. Honestly, there isn't a lot to do um, for next season. I mean, we've got um, Otavio, who is bought already. We've got Christian, who is bought already. We've got a left winger who has been bought already uh, and paid for. So basically what we will be looking at in the next season is a right back. Uh, sorry, it's a full left back. Definitely we need a left back and hopefully we can keep Clementino um, in the club. If not, I have someone on my radar too. But I wish that Clementino would stay at the club. Um, 
But here we go. This is it. This is the last game of the season. Home to Liverpool. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. Let's finish off this season with a bang and beat Liverpool. Good tackle from Silva there. Silva finds Otavio, who finds Clementino, and he's running face to face with the keeper. Clementino, what a start, guys. What a start. Clementino, 28 goals of the season. I mean, now Monaco joined the race for Clementino. So basically, the main contenders for Clementino are PSG, Liverpool, Hertha Berlin, and Monaco. Yeah. It's going to be difficult to keep him, basically. To keep him with us. Anyway, 1 0, 3 minutes. Mendes finds Smith. Good save by Duran. Foden with the free kick Smith offside, I guess. No. Usually that sort of situation. No, he wasn't offside though. He he was he was very good in beating the offside trap, so. 1-1. Come on, guys. Less than 10 minutes. And there's been already two goals in this game. Come on. They had three shots on target. We had only one from which we scored. But we are bossing possession with 58%. Uh, Silva with the corner. Norman Williamson there. Shoots. But Murphy makes an excellent save on him. And saves the shot into a corner. Silva again with the corner. Otavio. Plays it to Williamson. Who leaves it to Antonio. Tenalia. Leaves it to Vibora. Who then gives it to Antonio. Silva. Silva. The keeper does another save. This time on Silva. Does another excellent save this time on Silva. Corner again. Come on. They headed out. End of highlight. Come on, we've been the better team. Definitely we've been the better team. Free kick. Good position there for Silva. Ooh, it goes out. Should have done better, I guess, there. Silva's an expert in free kick taking. Come on. End of the first half here. And the first half finishes on a draw. It was a good first half. We had our opportunities. They had theirs. Um, I don't know why they're all demotivated. I said I'm delighted with, the, with, with their performance. I didn't, like, send them... I don't know. To a death sentence. Hang on. Tenalia. Actually, let's finish off this highlight first. Mendes with the throw-in. Williamson anticipates the attacker there, but Mendes again. To Foden. La Vibora clears out. Otavio. Otavio is running into the go. Finds Clementino. And Clementino doubles his... Ah, oh, come on, man. It's offside. <sighs> come on. It's been, it is offside. They never changed their decision. Well, look at that. He was offside. Come on. Hang on now. Tenalia. Out for Aldo. Antonio. Out and we put in Arieta. Their boat were dying. Let's demand more. Come on. 78 minutes. Daido. Aldo to Vibora. Vibora enters the box. He shoots. Nonsense there from Vibora. Could have crossed it or something. Corner for Liverpool. Foden in charge. And they score. Nikola Milenkovic scores from a from a corner, from a set piece. Chelsea, in the meantime, takes the lead 
against Brighton. So we're going to end up equal points with Chelsea, but better goal difference. Third place. So that should put us in third tier, I believe. In the Champions League, I mean. So we lost our last game, guys. We lost home. We lost home to Liverpool. Now, without further ado, I'm not going to keep you here waiting. Let's go to the end of season awards or whatever they call it. See you there. Okay, this is the end of season review for Aston Villa for the season 2027-2028. Let's start off from the new arrivals. Let's see who performed better. I sort of have an idea. <laughs> um, let's leave Eremo Genius out because he only played 11 games with an average rating of 720 now Luis Otavio played 42 games in total goals scored 21 assists 13 average rating 7.17 Christian he played 12 um, games as a starter 19 games he came in as a substitute he scored 16 with an eight with eight assists 7.11 his average well done uh, this guy here that he's on loan, Mariano Almanara. We can we don't have to see him. So best performer as average ratings is Hermogenes, which he's starting to create a bit of problems. Hermogenes, by the way, because now he's not happy because apparently I promised him to improve the coaching team, and now he's like he's complaining. But anyway, as in transfers out, um, Turnbull was the highest transfer out. Um, we got paid 57 million for Turnbull, 42 for Ramsey, 44 for Postima. Um, 60, actually, 60 million for Spirin was the highest. Okay, good, 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 good. So yeah, we did quite a few millions here. What, we did um, 250 mil, something like that. Uh, no, 200, 210 million, which is good um season results so the villa, the villa were on the competition feels good stories defining expectations mainly thanks to an impressive spell of form between august and september and after climbing as high as first at their peak they were able to celebrate a job well done um so basically the board expectation for the season was qualify for euro cup 2 <laughs> and uh, we ended up finishing in third position we filled 94 percent of um, our stadium capacity with an average attendance uh, of 46,731. Uh, competition top goal scorer was Luis Otavio with 19 goals. Um, board confidence overall, we got a B minus for B minus only. That's a bit, you know, harsh. European Cup um, board expectation was to be competitive. Final position, we've reached the quarter final. Average home attendance again, 94% of our stadium capacity. Clementino finished off our top scorer with 10 goals in the Champions League. If we have a look at the FA Cup, the board expectation was to reach the quarter final. We went out in the fifth round. Again, we've, we've managed to fill up 94% of our stadium capacity. Competition top goal scorers Clementino, Crezu, Aldo, Marcelo, Grealish, all with one goal. Carabao Cup. Um, the board expectation didn't even consider it as an important uh, competition. Final position, fourth round, 46%. I mean, 94% of our um, stadium capacity was filled. Joe Gellert with three goals ended up as the competition top scorer for us. Moments to remember. Uh, the biggest win was 6-0 away to West Brom. Uh, European Champions Cup best win was 3-1 home to Bayern. Goals from Clementino. Three goals from Clementino, one of them with a lovely chip. Remember that. Um, goal of the season, Luis Octavio in the 19th minute, running from inside the West Brom half to an unknown Barcelona striker, skins an opponent before scoring a fierce shot. I think this was off camera. We never played West Brom on camera, I believe. I don't know, I can't remember though. Uh, finances, club reputation, previously was four star continental. It is still a four-star continental. Um, sponsorship deals. We had no new sponsors deal this year. Um, but let's have a look at the revenue. We've made a 11 million in an 11 million increase in sponsorship. Broska, how can 
How can, wait, wait, hang on. Hang on. How can you do less broadcast revenue when you play in the Champions League? How can you? Doesn't make sense. Anyway, according to this, we did 10 million less over last year. Um, basically, we managed to get 4 million out of corporate and hospitality. That's 1.2 million more than last year. Competition prize money. Basically, last year we did 40 million. This year we did 87. So that's an increase of over 100%. 47 million uh, match day commercial and retail last year the average was of 2 million well not the average last say last year we generated 2 million this year we generated 2.6 million um, total merchandise sales went uh, up to 7.89 million we've sold the total of 478,513 shirts with the best uh, selling shirts were obviously clementinos lauren silva gellard dido and grealish why would you? Grealish? Okay. With all the respect to Grealish, anyway, but I would have expected Ottavio, um, Tenaglia. I don't know, but Grealish. <laughs> okay, how you lined up? Um, we rotated the team a fair amount of se the season. However, our key players played a major role on how the season turned out. Obviously, most appearances obviously is Duran with 46 games. He played them almost he played almost every single game except for the Carabao and the Fey. Um, followed by um with an average rating of 7.03. If we go for appearances, best is Duran, then Clemens with 43, our captain Clementino with 41, then Ottavio with 40, and then so on and so forth. If we go for assist, best assist man this season was Luis Ottavio with 13 assists, followed by Clementino with 12 and Dido with 12. And then Tommy Clements with 11. Jose Antonio had 10 assists as well. Um, as for the goals, Clementino scored 28 goals this season. Luis Otavio 21. And then third came in Damien Tanalia with 12 goals. Dido scored 8. Silva scored 8. And then all the rest. As for the average rating, best average rating was um, Clementino's with 7.24. Followed by Otavio with 7.17. Then Williamson with 7.07, .07, Liazao 7.05, and then joint um, even points, even average rating for Duran and Clemens with 7.03. Uh, the tactic was a 4312 uh, custom gag and press. Accolades. Your hard work and effort paid off in the pitch, and such feature didn't go unrewarded at our end of the season. So, um, 2018 English Premier Division. We won it. We won Manager of the Month three times in September, November, and February. As in club awards, uh, Fans Player of the Season, Otavio, Young Player of the Season, Otavio, Signing of the Season, Aldo, Goal of the Season, Otavio, Top Goal Scorer, Clementino, Most Assist, Otavio. As for competition awards, we have nothing. So the, the awards are not out yet. Uh, record breakers, Otavio, um, Most Goals by a Player in a League Match, three, three goals. Most assists by a player in a season, Luis Otavio with 13. Highest transfer fee paid, Eurmogenes with 59.99 million. Dennis Perrin was the highest transfer fee ever received with 59.6 million. And uh, that puts an end to season three here at Aston Villa. So, um, also, Villa set record for Premier Division worst discipline. <laughs> Players inducted in the overall best 11. Um, they follow. Uh, okay, so we Daido has been in, entered in the best overall eleven, and Tanalia. Okay, cool, not a problem. Um, club vision and expectations meeting. Next season, now what? Premier Division qualify for... Oh, qualify for the Euro Cup. Come on, man. Yeah, accept it. <laughs> accept it. End of season team meeting. I'm going to tell them we want to. I want to win the league next season. If there is an opportunity to do it, I'm going to tell them that I want to win the league. Um, yeah, challenge for the Titan next year. I'm very confident and positive. No, reach the final of the Champions League? No. 
Um, knockout stages, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, no, no promises. No anything. So, this is the end of this season, guys. And uh, before I finish off the season, I'm going to... I'm going to tell you one thing. Next season, it's going to be the last season here at Aston Villa. My aim is to win the league. Regardless, regardless of what happens, we will move on because this is a journey. And I mean, it's too comfortable for me to sit here and play, stay playing with Aston Villa. Because I know that one year or another, we're going to win the league and probably the Champions League with the, pe with the players we have. So I'm going to set a limit um to myself and next season would be the last season at aston villa and then we'll go somewhere else but before we leave aston villa my goal is to win the league and that's what we're going to work towards in the last in the next season until then thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did so don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to check if you're new my name is jerdy and until next time stay safe and bye bye